Alrighty, well, welcome back again. We have the old Alpine in here. I put a new belt on it, so the belt's working great now. But I have to tension the tracks because the sprockets seem like they're slipping if I get into a hard pull or really deep snow. I do have a set of bogey wheels upside down, so that could be another problem. Those tracks have to be fairly tight. If they're not, they will slip because these sprock... The internal drive is even worse. This is an external drive, so the sprockets stick through the holes on the track. Internal drives, well, they're not so good. I'm not a big fan of those because they can slip. But, uh, so I'm going to get Heather here to record me, and I'm going to show you what this machine is like in the deep snow. Now, this snow is pretty deep in here. It's really piling up. Let me show you first. So, if you folks ever watch uh, a channel called Survival Russia, he's a pretty good guy there. He seems pretty decent. He just bought an older white machine. He has the shorter version of this. Now, this has the 640. His has the 640 as well, I believe. So, the snow is kind of sticky in here, so it's a little hard to go anywhere. I just started to skid out a log out here. It's in the snow right there. We're going to skid that out, and we're going to... Put it right in that sleigh there it's going to be firewood so i think by the time we skid that out and there's a few here heather just tossed out i think that will be a, a good load but anyways i am going to see what this is like i have to make a trail right down in through here yeah so we're going to see what it's like i got to get around through there and then i got to come back onto my original trail without getting it jammed too much in that snow, like in amongst some trees. It's pretty good, the old girl, though. It'll, it'll go pretty good. As long as my sprockets don't start slipping too much, I'm good because I backed into there. I made a good old hole right down in there where I backed down in, and it pulled out, skidding that log, and it pulled that log sideways through that snow. But uh, anyways, we're going to head through there. We're going to see, I'm probably going to have Heather stand right here. If she doesn't mind, she'll run the gimbal and I'll head right down through there. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, let's see how far we can get in there breaking trail. I'm going to go a little bit and then I'll step off and I'll show you how much snow we have. I'll show you it's like stopping it. me some problems but see here look at here first i got caught on a stump right here see that stump down over there 
to the right, right on that side of the trail right there. So I got caught on that stump right there. Then I got going down around, I got caught on a little tree. And I don't want to take it too hard either because I just put a brand new belt on this. And I didn't want to cause that track to slip either. Now I have to go around, turn, and then come back and hook onto this. But there's a little turnaround right up here. So you'll see how I turn this baby around as well. shock on here is when I back up that ski catches lifts and it jams me right there. Needs a little work and the clutch you can tell is not grabbing perfectly well but hey, it will get us through the rest of the year and if I get the building done I'll go at it this summer in the fall and I will fix it up a little more. But man they are quite the workhorse. They are like survival, Russia said. They are a snow tractor, basically. I think that's what he said. They're like a snow tractor. A tractor of the snow, maybe is how he put it. I'm not too sure, but I like it. I mean, my white one, all I have to do is change the tracks on it, do a little work, and it will work good as well. We are going to get this cut and loaded. We'll be back in a few minutes.
three more little guys for our wood burning. I got to pull ahead because there's more at the front here. It's going good so far. My skidding hook underneath my seat.
day, I'm not sure. Not much sun, so I can't really do any welding. I was going to weld up that bob clay, but I think I'm going to work on maybe your snowblower. What do you think, Heather? My snowblower? Very cool. Yeah, I might do that. See if we can get that running. i got to go through some wiring, though. You get wire in here, it's not great. You get quite a smoke for the last time we tried to use it. Yes. It wasn't good. Mm -mm. So I don't know where the wires are all shorting, but there, you know what? They could be shorting right down here under this, where they run down in here. And that's something I'm going to pull apart and I'm going to see what's going on. So we'll let you know how that goes. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video, folks. I know it's not that enjoyable, I'm sure. It's just us, you know, getting firewood, playing around here. I mean, it's not like our usual building, but we will get back to that soon. I think winter is good. We maybe only have another month, and I think it's going to really start to warm up. I kind of think our snow is going to start to melt in a month or less, maybe. Don't hold me to that, but this is what... Uh, Beginning of February, is it, Heather? Somewhere around there? February 10th. 10th? February, I wouldn't be surprised to say March, uh, maybe March 20th or so. I bet the snow will be really starting to disappear. Yeah. You might even be able to use the ATVs in the bush by then, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, hope folks enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, please hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, please hit subscribe and Hey, slip on over and check out Survival of Russia's channel, if you don't mind. He's a pretty good guy there, it seems. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if he's ever watched my channel. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. But check him out. Say hello for us, if you don't mind, from the Skinners from Northern Ontario, Canada. You folks take care, and have a great day. Bye-bye, all.